Well, I think we can classify Morocco as a complete disaster. I knew we were asking for trouble sending a woman and a fossil like Lowry on an assignment like this. Let's not rush to judgment, shall we? Rush to judgment? I think the facts speak plainly enough. Ambassador Monroe is dead, and we lost another operative, albeit one who should have been put out to pasture long ago. And all we have to show for it are a belligerent, over-educated captive who knows nothing of use, and Ms. Archer here, who has demonstrated an alarming lack of competence in the field. I'd like to remind you that Volkov was lying in wait. Someone betrayed us. Indeed. And it seems that someone may have been your charming mentor. Bruno? What are you talking about? The evidence is largely circumstantial, but it is nonetheless compelling. That's crazy. In light of information unearthed during our investigation in Morocco, we now believe that Agent Lowry, Bruno, was in league with these harm chaps. But Volkov shot him. Perhaps to silence him. Or perhaps Lowry was demanding too much in exchange for his treachery. Alleged treachery. Lowry was a personal friend and one of our best agents. Unless he is proven guilty, he deserves to be honored, not slandered. In any case, it seems reasonable to assume that you weren't meant to escape, Miss Archer. Bruno was not a traitor. Can you be sure? Every man has his price, every woman too, I expect. When a man reaches the end of his career, it's only natural that he begins to worry about the future. I suppose some men of adaptable moral constitution even find it in themselves to resort to treason. What's your price, Mr. Smith? What are you insinuating? Merely that if Bruno were capable of treason, then so are we all. Enough! It is neither our prerogative nor our intent to judge Agent Lowry at this juncture. We will continue our investigation until we discover the truth. In the meantime, Archer, we must call upon you for another assignment. Although we call upon you reluctantly, I assure you. We've been contacted by an East German biophysicist named Dr. Otto Schenker, who wishes to defect to the West with our assistance. We know that Dr. Schenker is working on a secret Soviet weapons program, although the precise nature of his research remains a mystery to us. He has promised detailed information on the program in exchange for his freedom. It hardly seems necessary to underscore the great importance of this mission. We've had a devil of a time recruiting reliable spies in Berlin. It seems the Stasi have ears to every keyhole in East Germany. Which is why we're taking extra precautions. What sort of extra precautions? It's what we call a domino effect exchange. You'll meet with a series of contacts, each of whom will provide a piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Because the contacts don't know about each other or your mission, the vague information they possess will be meaningless to them, and by extension to the Stasi, should they get their hands on it. Perfect. We've also arranged a diversion to help cover your escape. Our man on the inside, Werner von Haupt, will place explosive charges at several locations in the record storage area. You'll need to locate these charges and set the timers. We also require that you infiltrate the main library and photograph certain sensitive documents pertaining to Dr. Schenker's research, in case he's not as forthcoming as he's promised to be. Von Haupt will present you with a disguise that should get you inside the test facility where Dr. Schenker will be working. Locate the doctor and get him out. Keep in mind that if this mission should succeed, we will have struck a mighty blow to the Soviets. We're counting on you, Archer. I won't let you down. Well, you can hardly botch this job as badly as Morocco. You might want to stop by the training facility and test out the new gadgets the toy makers have prepared for you.
to advanced field tactics. What appears to be a stylish pair of women's sunglasses is actually a multiple exposure spy camera with an adjustable zoom. Simply put them on, orient the viewfinder, and snap a shot. Remember that you can zoom in for a closer look at a distant target. Take a picture of this intelligence item with your sunglasses. Alright, now open the door to the next area. Unfortunately, this cigarette lighter is just an ordinary run-of-the-mill cigarette lighter. Still, it can be useful for providing light, starting fires, or lighting cigarettes. Use your cigarette lighter to light this piece of paper on fire. Alright, now open the door to the next area. These relatively inconspicuous looking lipsticks are actually powerful explosive devices to detonate on impact. Accustom yourself to the weight and explosion radius, and try not to blow yourself to smithereens. security cameras. First, as tempting as it may be, don't destroy them if you can help it. Whoever is monitoring the security system is likely to send someone to investigate or even sound an alarm if any of the cameras goes out. Instead, try to avoid them altogether. If the light on a camera starts flashing, it means you've been detected and the camera is attempting to focus on you. Duck out of sight before you're identified as a threat. If you're close enough to the camera, you'll actually hear it focusing. Listen for it to resume scanning before stepping back into view. Finally, make sure not to leave any bodies lying in view of a camera. That's just as bad as being spotted. All right, now open the door to the next area. are also best avoided. Shooting them out will likely cause every bit as much commotion as being caught in the beam. Figure out their movement patterns before attempting to bypass them. All right, now open the door to the next area. Excellent. <laughs> 